Hi, my name is Glenn Hasselman. I'm just making this video for the free accounting software users to show you guys how to um, find and resolve errors in single touch payroll lodgements. So um, I've got to create an error. So I'm going to do that by um, changing the employee setup. So um, going into the employee record and the payroll details. There is this start date here. Um, that was not a required field with single touch parallel one. Um, the software has actually al always had this field here, um, but it was not required to be entered previously. Now with single touch parallel two, it is required. So I'm gonna delete that. And I think this might be a common error people are going to experience because um, because of this change. So um, now going to payslip, we've got to create a payslip. I've created the batch already. Um, click new payslip. I'll just keep it pretty simple. Now if I scroll down to the pay event info, we can see that the employment start date is blank. So that's going to create an error. Um, click back to the transactions and then click through to the STP lodgement. And just do the lodge as per normal. Okay, so it takes a minute for it to retrieve the messages from the ATO to see if this was lodged successfully or not. While it's doing that, um, I should say that uh, with this um, error, it's going to be all errors on the, the whole 100% of the um, um, payslips will have errors. So the, this lodgement will be entirely rejected by the ATO. If you have a lodgement where there is some correct payslips, it will still actually be accepted by the ATO. So in that case, there's a slightly different way to do the correction and I'm going to do a separate video on that. Okay, so now it's finished lodging, and as expected, it says some payslips have errors. Um, there's this batch overall event, and it sort of tells you how many transactions there were, and how many went through and didn't, and I think that's kind of less useful. Um, just to point out in the batch status, the batch status is still on created. So when we did the lodge, it would have gone to sent status. Um, and now that it was fully rejected by the ATO, it's gone back to created status. And that's good because all we have to do is fix the payslip and then redo this lodgement. As I said, if you have some payslips which are correct and some which are incorrect, then it will um, go to a lodge complete status. And I'll do a separate video on how to um, corrected in that case. Right, now we know which payslip had the error because we just deliberately created that error. Um, also, there's only one payslip on this batch, but um, if you get a message that some payslips have errors, um, you, you sort of need to find out, well, what is that error? So if you click on the transactions link, um, it will list the transactions on this batch or the payslips and um, and in this second column here it says error to indicate that this payslip has an error. So if you have a few different payslips and, um, 
Um, this indicator will tell you which one was the one with the error. Um, we still don't know the error, we've got to double click that and go into the pay slip. And once in the pay slip, under the pay event info, we can read what the error message is. So um, in this case, um, um, it's a pretty easily understandable error, I think, which says um, uh, error pay commencement date must be provided. Okay, there's a code and there's a field name as well, uh, which is probably less useful. Um, but the first part does tell you what the error is. The second error here is really the same thing. It says error pay commencement date must be on or after 1st of the 1st, 1950. Okay, so it was caused by the same thing. So now we have to fix that error. So we'll go to the... Um, employee setup and put the start date back in then going back to the pay slip now when I go back to the pay slip and I scroll down to the start date you can see that it's blank and that's because when you first go into this page it will display the saved data. If it was to immediately recalculate we would never be able to see what the saved data was and we wouldn't um, um, and we'd see this error message and we'd go well hang on the start date is there so what's the problem? Uh, so that's why it displays initially the saved information rather than updating it immediately. So we have to trigger this payslip to update um, and um, you can do that by making any kind of trivial change to the payslip. So even just deleting one of these decimal zeros will um, cause it to recalculate. Okay, so when it recalculates we can see that the employment start date has been brought in to the payslip. Then click save and then we can go and redo the lodge. So the batch status is on created and that's because this batch was fully rejected by the ATO meaning we can just go down and re-attempt the lodge. Okay, so it's in the process of doing the lodge. You can see the status is sitting on sent and it's going to refresh the page in 68 seconds. As I mentioned before, this is the way to correct it where the lodgement is fully rejected and that could be fully rejected because you have an error at this level so something wrong say with the ABN or or um, some of these details here or it could be fully rejected because all of the pay slips have errors if even just one of the pay slips is correct it will only be it will actually be accepted by the ATO um, with a partial lodgement status and there is a way to correct it and I'll do a video on how to do that. Okay so that's um, now gone through and that's how you um, find and correct uh, an error on a single touch power lodgement. Hope the video has been useful and thanks for watching.